<laughs> Damn, that's still leaking. What is up, guys? So, a little bit of different video today, but we've got a lot of questions about whether or not we're going to be going to Cletus and Carts this year. And uh, as you can see now, we aren't going to be doing it. Now, so far, we've made it to two Cletus and Cars events, both of them down at the Freedom Factory. If you haven't watched those videos, click here to the playlist for them. Strongly recommend you watch them. Uh, there's some pretty funny stuff there. But in summary, the first time we went down, we blew the lower radiator hose off. And the second time, we had a leaking fuel line, which led to burning out the fuel pump. And that's kind of exactly why I think we aren't really a competitive unit yet. Like, even the first time down there, I cannot explain how David versus Goliath it feels. Yeah, dude. Okay. Every single vehicle here. Crazy power. Yeah. You know, they put a crazy amount of money into it. Dude, I hear you. Oh, look at that thing right there. Like, crazy. I know. I don't know. We're probably not competing against that. Look at the time. I think we are. It's in the burnout comp. That's in the burnout comp? Yeah. With those tractor tires on it. <laughs> when you're sitting in a pit stall next to this, like, four-wheel drive, tractor tire, alcohol-blown big block that's going to be an open comp like keep in mind the first time we went down there we were running a stock 305 and then the second time we were running this stock 305 which had a cam and we had just done the head gaskets like a day before heading down and like at the end of the day you have to decide if you're there to have fun or you're there to be competitive or if you're there for a mixture of the both some people are totally okay with driving 1200 miles with a truck, you know, like a stock Chevy truck on a trailer to just go do a one wheel peel. And that's fine. I mean, our philosophy is we can do that anywhere we want. You know, we can do that here. We don't need to go all the way down to Florida to make that happen. And that's a good thing, right? Like the event is growing. The cars are growing. The, the entertainment value is getting super high and we want to be able to add to that. And we don't want to go down there and just be dead weight and, and not have fun because our stuff's broken or it only has 102 horsepower or something isn't running quite right and we just struggle the whole time and then run back up here to New York. So we want to be competitive and going without a competitive vehicle is just not an option for us anymore. And because of that, that's why there's an LS in here now, right? This is a 2,600 pound, 2,400 pound truck. It's going to have almost three times the power that I have with the small block Chevy in the first comp. It's going to be way more competitive for this, but... That brings me to the next point. Money or lack of money. Also, check this out. This is not cheap. Cars aren't cheap. You know this already. You're on here. Cars aren't cheap. Trips aren't cheap. It's like 2,500 bucks in hotels and fuel just to get down there. And that's for like two nights stay. You're like long drive. You're like you're doing 24 hour drive the whole way. So when we came back after the fuel pump fiasco after the second one, the problem is we didn't, we didn't have any money and we didn't have a running vehicle and that's kind of where we are now right we spent over eight months building the hard body back to some form of competitiveness it's going to be way more competitive but it took us a full year to get this thing to fire up for the first time and that's just putting an ls in it and that's just you know regular people we got jobs and all that stuff it's winter in new york it's not exactly the simplest thing to do all this in winter so it takes time and it takes money <laughs> and getting money takes time also it takes even more time because we're filming everything but either way time is money and money is time and we don't really have either of them and then kind of the final reason took us two years to figure out when we finally started up youtube it was like a 12-year idea from dudes in middle school and high school finally coming to fruition and it happened right at the start of the pandemic and kind of a side product is we totally missed the car youtuber train and we came into this thing late but either way we had more time and money thanks to stimmies and everything so we're able to finally jump into this like car dream that we've been thinking about since high school. So getting to get the RX-7, build the Nissan, you know, it was really cool. But at the same time, because it was a pandemic, that meant no car shows, no in-person meets, like no cruises. It just wasn't a normal car culture to finally get into. So fast forward to 2021, when we come back from the first Cletus and Cars, we were totally excited to take this thing right here and go do some sick shit with it. Like we wanted to set up events and and we had a couple like really legit conversations with legit venues to do legit burnout shows. I mean, unfortunately though, and this is where things just kind of suck, those things fell through and like they fell through like at an unbelievable moment. The first time it fell through, it was literally like at the point of concrete trucks showing up to pour concrete slabs. Like it's 
It's insane. The second time was even more legit. Like it was way more legit of a venue. We went out, we had like these giant conversations about setting everything up and it was like clear to go. And then literally the venue just ghosted us, like completely ghosted us. And then quick note here, had the audacity to reach out the following year to try to do another one, which we no. So needless to say, that, that kind of sucked. And it kind of gave us a sour taste for trying to do events with people or really do anything of our own if we had to rely on a different venue, we had to rely on somebody to set it up. And that kind of brings us to where we're at today. We, we finally have our own thing and we're super excited to get that set up and work with our local community. Like we're, we've got a ton of stuff that we're going to be able to do this year with a local car community and really get back into what it is to be a car community. So stay tuned for that. If you're in the 607 region of New York, stay tuned. We've got our own place. We've got our own ideas. It's going to be awesome. I'm super excited for it. And that's just kind of the authenticity of it. I mean, we want to do our own thing. We can finally own that and put our effort into it. And yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing this year. That's the focus is getting everything going and enjoying the stuff we have and making fun memories with people with us at these events. We're, we're pumped for it. If you want to help us out, give us a like, give us a share, get this video out there. You know, the channel's growing and it's been awesome. You know where it was from when we started to where we are now three years later it's pretty crazy what every day looks like. So we're finally able to do some stuff. You want some hats? We got some hats in stock. Go ahead and shoot us a message on the Facebook page. We can hook you up with a hat. Otherwise, leave a comment below. Have you been to Eclitus and Cars? They're pretty sick events. We're thinking about Bristol. This is the next one we want to do. That's just sick. That Bristol is just sick. So what do you like? Which ones have you been to? You've been to all of them? Also, do you think Underglow is coming back? Let me know in the comments because I kind of think it's coming back. But that's all I got for this one, guys. Remember, make 200 horsepower fun again.